reward for the day. It is lifting time. And today, in this greater glory Sunday service, the man of God has a special message for you and for me with a theme called to live the Christian life. Oh, I have been called to live a Christian life. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. The Bible says, No, you know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Just say, I am the temple of God. The Spirit of God dwells in me. And the man of God, Pastor Dennis Samos Emojong, continues to enlighten me and you through the supernatural word of the day. That when you become a Christian, it means that God, the maker of the universe, dwells in you. Wow. The maker of the universe dwells in me. Hey, hey. I am the temple. The temple of God. Now a temple is a home of spirits. In you is the maker of the universe. If someone is near you right now, tell that person, in you is the maker of the universe. Glory to God. Now as a temple, God wants you to walk in higher blessings. I'm walking in higher blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are his habitation. God doesn't want you to live in a once in a while miracle life. He wants you to live a continuous supernatural life. Say, I live a continuous supernatural life. And this is my confession. This is the reality. I live in a continuous supernatural life. Hallelujah. There are Christians who can freak out if they see an angel. <laughs> Why? Because they haven't grown in the knowledge in the ways of God. It is not how long you have been in church. No. It is growing. When you become a Christian, oh, tell your neighbor, and if you're listening to me right now, when you become a Christian, God expects you to grow. Now as you do, you live in the supernatural. I live in the supernatural. The more the amount of light in you, the greater the life you live on earth. For example, one has to grow from the level of healing to divine health. It takes growing one's faith or growing from lack to abundance. It is possible. Say, I have a life of God in me. Eternal life is mine. I can't be sick. Divine health is mine. I just serve this kind of life. Oh, abundance is mine. I can't lack. All things are mine in Christ Jesus. A Christian life is not fasting. It is not praying. It is a divine life that is operating in us. Divine life is at work in me. Now the amount of light we have is what makes us effective here on earth. As a child of God, your focus should be to move forward in your work. Now to grow this light on the inside, make sure you grow it on the inside. Jesus is already in you. Just say Jesus lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. There is a need to express that lie so that you effectively represent Jesus here on earth. Hallelujah. Now let's go to the meditation scriptures. The first one is First John chapter 5 and verses 4. The Bible says, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Our faith. Galatians chapter 2 and verses 20. I love the word of God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. In the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. One year Bible study plan, we are reading the whole of Habakkuk and also we are reading 2 Peter chapter 1. 
Now let's all rise up and we make this prophetic declaration together. I thank you, Lord, for this word. I know you can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I can ever think or imagine according to the power that is at work in me. Thank you for the grace to grow. This light on the inside of me to enable me to live the victorious life that you've called me to live in the name of Jesus. Oh, I have the life of God in me. Oh, the life of God, eternal life. I can't be sick. I can't be poor. Oh, everything is mine. I'm blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. I am the best. I am the richest. I am the greatest. The great shall call me great. The rich shall call me rich. All things are mine. Hey, I own all assets. Every good thing belongs to me. More information on how to access the supernatural word for the day. Or messages from a man of God, Pastor Dennis Amos Emojo. Visit our website. There is www.embassofgodministries.org. Or visit us at church. There is Embers of God Miracle Valley. Located in Chirica. Now go wrong. Behind Goodways. Nothing.